Are you tired of wasting time chasing vulnerabilities that have already been patched? You run a scan and suddenly there's a wall of red, but most of it isn't even relevant. Tuxcare Radar changes that. It's a vulnerability scanner built specifically for Linux teams. My name is Eric Hendricks, product marketer here at Tuxcare, and over the next few minutes, I'll show you what to expect when you run your very first scan. First things first, Radar doesn't work like a traditional scanner. Most tools just flag every CVE ever associated with your installed packages even if those vulnerabilities were already patched through updates, live patching, or extended support. Radar is different. It knows when a CVE has already been resolved, whether that's through rebootless patching like kernel care, ELS coverage, or even standard OS updates. It filters those out, marks them as green. What you're left with is a clean, focused list of vulnerabilities that still need your attention. Let's take a look at what actually happens when you run your first scan. When you launch a scan using the Radar CLI tool, it inspects your system's installed packages. It includes things like the kernel, glibc, OpenSSL, and other shared libraries. It builds a detailed system profile and then compares that profile against a curated CVE database. It pulls from multiple data sources like Red Hat, Alma Linux, and public exploit databases. But here's the smart part. Radar checks not just what's installed, but whether each vulnerability has already been addressed. If the system has been patched in memory, say with a rebootless patch, Radar knows. Those CVEs will be marked as resolved. The result, a shorter, more actual list of vulnerabilities. And you'll see that right here in the Radar dashboard. If your first scan looks a little quiet, that's actually a good sign. It means Radar filtered out the noise. You're only seeing what's still relevant, where you're still at risk. No fluff, no duplicates, and no outdated alerts. Radar also runs securely with a minimal footprint. It doesn't require root access, doesn't open ports, doesn't run constantly as a background daemon. By default, it runs as a scheduled cron job, typically as a non-privileged user like nobody, and checks every six hours whether a scan has been completed in the last 23. You can customize the schedule as needed, but out of the box, it's safe, efficient, and quiet. Once your scan is complete, you don't have to dig through raw logs. Radar includes built-in AI assistance, so you can ask questions like, what's the most urgent vulnerability on the system? What is the best way to remediate this vulnerability? And what are some of the best practices for securing my Linux server? And you'll get clear answers. No scripting, no query language, just a real conversation. Prefer to automate things yourself? Radar exposes a full API. You can query scan results in Go, Bash, or Python, and we publish ready-to-use examples out on GitHub. But here's where it gets really cool. Radar also supports the Model Context Protocol, or MCP, which means you can connect it to AI tools like Claude, Cursor, or Codium. These tools can not only ask questions about your scan results, but take action. Things like generating custom reports, triggering patch jobs, or evaluating risks to systems in real time. You can build it into your workflow however you see fit. Want to know more about these features? Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you know when new tutorials just like this one are produced. Texcare Radar gives you clarity, not noise. Whether you manage one server or a thousand, your first scan is just the beginning. So go ahead, run Radar today and see what real Linux vulnerability management looks like.